I mean, study engineer la. Can make big money. Hey, go to pilot la. Can fly here and there. Man, become teacher good. Many school holidays. Helmet can make my hair messy, bo. Do what la? Cannot, bo. I'm wearing glasses. Teacher, cannot la. Either the student die or I die first la. Oh no! Still got exam tomorrow. Perjanjian Persekutuan Tanah Melayu. Wow, how to memorize all? Oi, farmasi. Hey, pharmacist, I study sejarah until my brain want to crack already. Do you have any pill to make my brain smarter? Ah boy. Actually, there's no such thing in the market yet. Oh, then when and how can I get it? For a product to be made available in the market, it takes time and effort and it has to go through several processes. If you have time, let me explain it to you. Hey, tell me what pharmacists do also. Before a new pharmaceutical product can be made available on the market, it has to go through a series of research, design, development and testing, ensuring their safety and quality. Industrial pharmacists are involved in different stages of this process, from initial design to public launch and sales. Wow! Before this product can be reached the market, its safety and efficacy has to be evaluated by regulatory agencies across the world, which regulatory affair pharmacists holds a key role in the process. In Malaysia, all pharmaceutical products must be registered with the Drug Control Authority before it can be marketed. Every registered pharmaceutical product is given a registration number which starts with MAL to make sure it is a genuine product. A hologram security device, also known as a Meditech, is required to be sticked on the product label. Here is an example of how a genuine hologram label can be recognized by using a Meditech decoder. However, sometimes there are patients who require individualized dosage strength and formulation to meet their special requirements. Compounding pharmacists receive prescription from the doctors and produce a customized medication to the patient. Look how I make a tablet into a cream. Seems interesting, isn't it? And of course, pharmacists also play an important role in educating the pharmacy students to help them pick up the latest pharmacy knowledge. And occasionally, a pick up line. Are you a flaconite? Because you make my heart skip a bit. Then what's the difference between a doctor and a pharmacist? Pharmacists are the experts of medicines. We work closely together with the doctors because very often, we cannot understand their artistic handwriting on the prescription and we have to do intervention to ensure the right medication for the right patient. Joke aside, at the hospital, clinical pharmacists work with doctors to carry out daily work rounds. We discuss about patients' conditions and we provide information such as selection of medicine, the dose, potential side effects and so on. In short, pharmacists, doctors, nurses and other healthcare professionals work closely together to ensure patients receive the best treatment plan. Then, what do you do? I am a community pharmacist. I focus on safe and effective medication use by ensuring the right patient, right drug, right route, right dose at the right time. So, what do you want to do in the future? Hey, Kaming, can you tell me the side effects of a CCV? Huh? What CV? 